Hi Sagittarius! So this is your reading for the month of May. I know it's half over. I'm sorry I got sick, so it just took me a little longer to make these videos. We are going to look at uh, what is your general theme for the month. We're going to look at your career, we're going to look at your money, how other people are going to improve your month, how they're going to try to fuck it up, and then what is your like spiritual gift or like where should your focus be if you're trying to um, sort of spiritualize your May and have the happiest May ever, and then what is your power crystal of the month. So let's get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Okay, so your general theme, Sagittarius. You have two of them. The first one, gratitude. Okay, so gratitude is going to be important. And then the other thing is um, thinking about the basis of karma. So an affirmation you might want to make yourself in regards to gratitude would be something like, I will count my many blessings. But you see how this card is blue? You want to be focused on um, probably writing or speaking your gratitude, even if you're just like speaking it in your own mind as the day progresses. Writing will be very powerful for you. Now, with this energy of karma, okay, it's saying like you reap what you sow, you know, treat others how you want to be treated, that golden rule kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's just like something you want to keep in mind this month. And it's not saying that you're a nasty person or anything like that, but they're just like, okay, when I'm starting to feel like green, you know, with envy or jealousy, like, is that the way that I would want other people to view me? Because for every feeling or emotion that I have going out to somebody else, like that's coming back to me at minimum times three. So just remember that. Okay. This goes along with our thoughts too, with our judgments. So there's that. Okay. Now what's up with your money? Sagittarius and they're saying um, like at, at the base chakra level like things are sort of like balanced and you know predictable and you have basically what you need or you should start to have what you need if you haven't previously however it's a little bit boring okay like money isn't so exciting for you and so you might be in this energy of like okay I want to do something that is new and exciting which will give me like more balance in my life because I'm feeling a little bit scattered with my energy. Like I'm not sure where I want to focus, like what is right for me. I don't know um, where I want to apply, you know, my time. What is the most important thing? And so you might be feeling uncomfortable even though at a base level everything is pretty all right for you. Now they're saying um, remember that this firm foundation is something that we do want to express gratitude for just because we can't like move up the ladder towards like, enlightenment or whatever with the Maslow's hierarchy of needs and also with our chakra system uh, until if we didn't have that. So our root chakra, if yours is a little bit jacked, you want to make sure that that's really strong and firm because he's not even going to be looking at this mountain as a challenge like as he starts moving up the ladder and kind of like, you know, progressing towards the things that he desires once he sorts it all out. Because it doesn't matter because he knows, he knows he's going to have the strength. So express a lot of gratitude for the things that are right, okay? Like that you are able to pay your bills on time or that you are able to pay them eventually or, you know, that you have a uh, phone service, a place to live, food to eat, whatever, whatever. Like those basic things we want to be expressing a lot of gratitude for so that those are very strong and we can build all this awesome stuff on top of it. Now that's um, in regards to money. So money might start to kind of make a slow climb for you starting in May. Now what's going on in regards to your career? And they're saying like all of a sudden you just like intuitively know what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be going. Now the problem is when we were talking about money and this energy of disruption and like, oh, I want things to change a little bit, it might not be the career that you're in, okay? And so that's a little bit hard, right? So you're thinking here about like, um, 
I don't want to be disappointed. Like, I don't want to stay in something that's not right for me. So if this is you, um, this awareness is coming from spirit and it's something you do want to pay attention to, even if it's not something that you're going to move on right now in May. So they're saying, yeah, absolutely don't be disappointed. Like, try to be expressing gratitude for everything that you're in right now. So like, even if you're in a career that you don't necessarily love, like, is it meeting your basic needs until you can figure out how you're going to execute what you actually want to do or discover what it is you actually want to do? Yes, it is. So it's still a good thing. So let's express gratitude for that, okay? They're saying like your passion is likely to be ignited. It should you be focused on spirit this month. Like if you're tuned in to that intuition, if you're tuned into spiritual energy, all of a sudden you're going to be like, click, I know what I want to do. And I am able to bring this full circle and like live from a very passionate space and kind of go out and achieve what it is that I want to do. Yes, it's going to require a lot of work and action. However... Um, I can do it. And it's interesting that this is kind of um, where the reading is headed because your power crystal of the month is all about personal power and finding that sort of enthusiasm and igniting your passions and carrying those forward. So I'm excited to tell you about it. Um, how are other people going to affect your month potentially in a negative way? And it's saying, you know what, this passion that you have, um, they're going to be pushing you a little too hard too fast. So you might, if you shared, like, hey, this is this business idea that I have. This is something that I want to do. I think it would change a lot of lives. And other people are like, yes, we're so excited. Get on it. And you're like, whoa, it's way too much too fast. Like, I just can't handle it. Okay? They might be pushing you a little too hard. But that's actually a good thing because it shows that they're excited in your about your product or your service or whatever. Even if it's not related to business or whatever, you just might feel like other people are kind of pushing you a little too hard. Um, and, but you know, it's because they can see the passion within you. They can see your natural inherent talent and they want what's best for you. So try to remember that. And again, expressing gratitude with an open heart chakra. Like, I'm so glad that other people care enough about me though, to care that I do find my passion. Now, how are other people going, but it's just going to be annoying. And so that's maybe how they'll ruin it a little. <laughs> so how are other people going to improve your month? And it's saying, you know, honestly, that they're not emo emotionally withdrawn from you. Um, how other people are, that shared excitement and enthusiasm is fantastic. Like it shows who your true friends are, right? Like you can tell when some people say, you know what, I'm really happy for you. They're just saying that to say something and to sound nice so you like them. But you can see right through that shit. No, it's very rare that you meet a friend who's like, oh my gosh, I am so happy for you. Like I love that this is happening to you and they actually mean it and they don't feel jealousy or envy. And so those are the kind of people that you want to keep close to you because yes, they're annoying as they push you, but they're the kind of people that you do want to be surrounded with to keep that heart chakra wide open and to attract all of these blessings, right? We want to be like that person. So we keep them close. Now, um, what should you be focused on spiritually in order to have the most awesome May possible and they're saying like palmistry, actually, this would be like the kind of a month where, um, you know, you go to your local palm reader and they really give you some awesome insight. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, maybe read about it, like examine your own palm. Honestly, I don't do palm reading, so I can't tell you much about it. But if you're a Sagittarius, something really cool might come from that. Okay. Now, in regards to your crystal of the month, you have sunshine aura. Um, and this specific one that I have is Sunshine Tangerine Aura, if you want to get it from my website. Otherwise, you could order it online. But it's hard to find, actually. A lot of people, a lot of uh, local stores won't have this. But anyway, if you want to read more about it, um, there's a link in the description box below. But otherwise, I'll just tell you like a brief little quick rundown. Um, so like I said, it's going to overcome feelings of powerlessness, anxiety. It's going to increase your focus. It's going to stimulate like your energy, kind of give like birth to like a new way of being, doing things, living, um, kind of put you like on a new exciting path. It helps you to be more confident. It increases um, like all of this happiness and this joy. And it's going to improve your solar plexus chakra, the yellow one. Okay. That's this one right here, um, kind of where your stomach sits. And so what what it does with that solar plexus chakra is the, that's the chakra of like personal empowerment of like energy of getting shit done. And so that's kind of the energy that you're in this month, right? Like passions ignited and following those things through and like feeling good about it with like a better self esteem. And so this is your power crystal of the month, Sagittarius. I hope you love it and um, have the best May ever. Many blessings.
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!